All right, guys, hitchhiking piece of advice number one. Make it very, very clear at first that you are not standing there with a sign for hours on the side of the road just to be taken to a bus station. So basically, I was hitchhiking from Macedonia, no, from Bulgaria to Macedonia, and I got picked up by this guy. I said no to three people at first because I just didn't get these good energies. That is very important. But anyways, I got with this guy, and he didn't speak very good English, but he spoke some Italian, he said he did. And so we spoke a little bit, and I mean, I understand some Italian because I speak Spanish, so I thought, whatever, I get good energies, let's just go. So anyways, we're going down the road, and like, he's just giving me this Italian, and his Italian is actually not good. I mean, I think I would understand a little bit. So anyways, after a long time, I just keep saying, listen, just make sure you get me to the side of the road so I don't have to go into the city and I can hitchhike just perfectly great. So anyways, he's, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Anyways, I wasn't really paying attention or what. I just thought we were turning down another road, whatever. So then we get into a little small town. And I'm thinking, okay, there's the highway. Here we are. And yeah, it's not exactly, we're not going in the right direction, but that's okay. So um, I decided that I just give it a minute. And then we start to pull into the city, and he's like, all right, so here, we'll drop you off here. I look, and what do I see? A bus station. Because every single person that picks me up as a single girl always feels that I need to go to the bus station. That's just what they do. So he dropped me off there, and I was thinking, I just spent all of my local money. I have no money except for this card, and we're out in the middle of nowhere. There's absolutely nowhere to take out money. So I just told him, like, I don't even have money. So he was very sweet. He did buy me a ticket, which was less than five euros, but still it was the fact that I didn't do all of this, like, work of standing on the side of the road to be going on a bus. I would have done that originally if I actually wanted to. So anyways, I got on the bus. I had to wait for two hours, and it's okay. I was just thinking, okay, no big deal, no big deal. The bus took me out into the middle of nowhere, like to the station out in the middle of I don't even know where. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, like where am I going to go? I get off the bus, and luckily there's Wi-Fi. Thank God for Wi-Fi. And so I got on the map, and I'm thinking, Okay, I have a general direction. I'm just going to walk. So I started walking, and I see these girls at the gas station. I was just like, hey, can you guys tell me where to go? They spoke a little bit of English, and they're like, okay. They gave me some directions, and then I walked on. They stopped, and then they, and they stopped their car, and they said, oh, my gosh, I didn't know that you were walking. So get in the car, and we'll take you to a better spot. But first, we have to stop at my friend's house. So we stopped at the friend's house. Then they took me to an even worse spot. So I was there, but at least I saw the sign that I was going in the right way. So that was all that mattered. This guy picked me up, took me a little bit further. He took me, another guy, took me to the border, and then I walked through the border. And so when I was going through, I was just like with my little backpack, with my little Peppa kitty there. I mean, I have pink on, and I didn't look like I was going to do any harm, but I forgot to go through one part of the security like there's like two places you have to stop and I just walked on through and I hear this wow just oh my gosh like I did something terrible they're like stop so anyways I, I stopped and then I gave them my passport like no big deal and they're like oh America America ho oh. You know, and they were all kind of laughing after they discovered that I was actually trying to break into the country without giving my information. And I will just tell you that, you know, it's really good when you get to the border check and you're in a car and there's no line. It's just great. But when you are going through the border check and you're walking by foot and there's no cars, there's no line, that's not really good odds of you finding a ride. So I was there at the border check. And so what did I do? I found this old chair on the side of the road. 
I picked up this chair and I brought it with me and I just sat my stuff down. I sat in the chair and I just waited because there was nothing else to do. There was no cars. So one car went by, another, okay, there was nothing. And then a nice, beautiful Mercedes came and picked me up. And it was two Turkish guys and they took me all the way. Basically, it was a fantastic ride, but this is my one of the, okay, there's a few lessons in this. Number one, make sure that you tell them at first you are not wanting to go to a bus station. And then number two, just be patient, just be cool, and do not, do not hitchhike on a religious holiday, and especially on the weekend. Saturday, religious holiday together from one country to a smaller country, just not a good idea. So just don't do it. And just stay cool. That's what I got for you. So more to come. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.